It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you only, Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. In order to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. You came to call sinners. Christe, Christe, eleison. Christe, Christe, eleison. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Kyrie, Kyrie, eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. Naboth the Jezreelite had a vineyard in Jezreel beside the palace of King Ahab of Samaria. And Ahab said to Naboth, Give me your vineyard so that I may have it for a vegetable garden because it is near my house. I will give you a better vineyard for it, or if it seems good to you, I will give you its value in money. But Naboth said to Ahab, The Lord forbid that I should give you my ancestral inheritance. Ahab went home resentful and sullen because of what Naboth the Jezreelite had said to him. For he had said, I will not give you my ancestral inheritance. He lay down on his bed, turned away his face, and would not eat. His wife, Jezebel, came to him and said, Why are you so depressed that you will not eat? He said to her, Because I spoke to Naboth, the Jezreelite, and said to him, Give me your vineyard for money, or else, if you prefer, I will give you another vineyard for it. But he answered, I will not give you my vineyard. His wife, Jezebel, said to him, Do you now govern Israel? Get up, eat some food, and be cheerful. I will give you the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite. So she wrote letters in Ahab's name and sealed them with his seal. She sent the letters to the elders and the nobles who lived with Naboth in his city. She wrote in the letters, Proclaim a fast and seat Naboth at the head of the assembly. Seat two scoundrels opposite him and have them bring a charge against him, saying, You have cursed God and the king. Then take him out and stone him to death. The men of his city, the elders and the nobles, who lived in his city, did as Jezebel had sent word to them. Just as it was written in the letters that she had sent to them, they proclaimed a fast and seated Naboth at the head of the assembly. The two scoundrels came in and sat opposite to him, and the scoundrels brought in a charge against Naboth in the presence of the people, saying, Naboth cursed God and king, so they took him outside the city and stoned him to death. Then they sent to Jezebel, saying, Naboth has been stoned. He is dead. As soon as she heard that Naboth had been stoned and was dead, Jezebel said to Ahab, Go, take possession of the vineyard of Naboth, the Jezreelite, which he refused to give you for money, for Naboth is not alive, but dead. As soon as Ahab heard that Naboth was dead, Ahab set out to go down to the vineyard of Naboth the Jezreelite to take possession of it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, listen to my groaning. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Give heed 
to my sighing, listen to the sound of my cry, my King and my God. Lord, listen to my groaning, for you are not a God who delights in wickedness. Evil will not sojourn with you. The boastful will not stand before your eyes. You hate all evildoers. Lord, listen to my groaning. You destroy those who speak lies. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful. For you bless the righteous, O Lord. You cover them with favor as with a shield. Lord, listen to my groaning. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, An eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist an evildoer. But if anyone strikes you on the right cheek, turn the other also. And if anyone wants to sue you and take your coat, give your cloak as well. And if anyone forces you to go one mile, go also the second mile. Give to everyone who begs from you, and do not refuse anyone who wants to borrow from you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So Naboth had a beautiful vineyard, and King Ahab wanted it. And this is the classic story of covet, coveting in the Bible. King Nahab, uh, or King Ahab rather, King Ahab wasn't content with what he already had. And as a king, he had a lot. But he felt he absolutely needed uh, poor Naboth's beautiful vineyard. And this covetedness ruined the king. And it also led to the tragic death of Naboth. When I was growing up, my brothers and I, we loved to, you know, uh, buy sports equipment. There was always another piece of sports equipment we were looking to get. And also, we liked, you know, our shoes and new clothing and and electronic uh, devices or whatever. And I remember our mom would always say, she would quote St. John of the Cross to us. She would say, boys, strive to have less and not to have more. And the truth is, is for most of us, we would be happier if we had less stuff. Yes, there are some people who are living in grinding poverty. There are things they really do need. They don't have it. And this is, this is sad. This is unfortunate. But for a lot of us, we have more than what we need. And the tragedy is oftentimes we don't appreciate the things we have. And it's gratitude. It's gratitude for the things we have, uh, seeing how blessed we are, recognizing how good uh, God is to us, that gives us joy and peace. You know, coveting other people's things just makes us miserable, empty, makes us sad. Being grateful for what we have brings us joy. Our loving Father has been very good to us. Let us pray that his merciful love may mark our attitude towards everyone. 
that as God's people we may be able to live out Christ's law of love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may forgive our enemies and those who have, have hurt or wronged us in any way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may do away with division and selfishness, and that we may overcome evil by goodness, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are hardened in sin may be touched by the Spirit of the Lord to repent and change their ways, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may be brought safely home to the company of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in a special way for uh, Keith, who passed just a few days ago for the repose of his soul and for consolation for his family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the special intention of today's Mass, for the repose of the soul of Tony Lacobucci, uh, offered by his daughter, Cince Guillermo, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord of all people, as we pray for these intentions, help us to grow together and help us overcome hostility and conflict. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. You give life. You give love, you bring light to the darkness. You give hope, you restore every heart that is broken. And great are you, Lord, it's your breath. In our lungs, so we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs, so we pour out our praise to you only. Great are you, Lord. You give life. You are love, you bring light to the darkness, you give hope, you restore every heart that is broken, and great are you, Lord, great Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who in the offerings presented here provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacrament, grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Terence, and Marcel, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Miserere nobis, Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, Dona nobis pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. And all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry, these bones will sing. Great are you, Lord. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our so we pour out our praise to you only. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise. We pour out our praise. It's your breath in our lungs. So we pour out our praise to you Let us pray. As this reception of Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Heavenly Father, pour out your wonderful blessing, your wonderful love upon your children. Heavenly Father, set your children's hearts on fire. Fill them with your Holy Spirit. Give them your wonderful Love, Lord, that they may spread it to everyone they meet today. Give your children the peace that only you can give. And may the blessing of Almighty God descend upon you now, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and remain with you forever. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, Michael, the Archangel, defend, defend us in battle. battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May, may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, o Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen. Daily, daily sing to Mary, sing my soul her praises to All her feasts, her actions, worship, 
with a heart's devotion true, lost in wandering contemplation, be her 